Let's talk about expat fatigue. Um, it's all come to light this week, actually, because of the amount of headaches I've had, be, being sick, um, problems with the van, trying to get business going. Um, these sort of things can run you down quite quickly. Um, I've seen it happen to a few people in the Philippines, and I know some people at the moment, you can see that they they don't look well and they seem a bit aggressive they start becoming very negative on the stuff around them because it's a deflection what happens is they start blaming everything on everything else and rather themselves um see like the like the van i just put it's an old van blah 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 somebody else may go i was ripped off i was ripped off it's an old van you know it's simple as that uh the business stuff blame other people for not things not working i don't blame them it's just they cause delays, but delays are normal. These these are things that you have to evaluate um, and work around. Look at other options. Um, but other people will be going. They're doing something. They're doing it on purpose. Blah blah blah. These are signs that people are becoming fatigued, and the fatigue is because they've got so much strain going on. And the reason I'm putting my scenarios together because I know some people would crack up with the stuff that's going on with me at the moment but I just sort of shrug it off because I've been here before um, I'm starting from scratch in Spain in the same way I started from scratch in the Philippines but a lot of people deteriorate very quickly um, if things don't start going in the right direction they start to fall apart this is why it's important if you're going through this sort of stuff take a time out I mean like what I do, you know, like being sick, I'm sort of like, right, I can't do nothing about the van. I'm putting everything on pause for a couple of days. I'm going to rest, try and get my uh, immune system back up. Don't worry about the van because it's got to be done. There's nothing, there's no way getting around it. Just got to absorb it. Don't get stressed out about it. You're just like, it's life. It's one of those things. You, These things are why you know when things are good. Because you don't know when things are good unless you experience some bad things because it gives you gives you that life balance. So you need to sit there and go, okay, don't let it stress me. Put it to one side. Um, do something that is positive, motivates you. Um, I know with the wholesale stuff, there is an opportunity there. Property in Spanish, there's, proper, there's money in that. But... I'm not selling them as an investment in the same sense of it'll go up 10% a year because I don't believe in that. What I believe in and I've seen is that the holiday rentals are worth the money. You'll make the money on the rentals without a doubt. There's, there's loads of Brits here that make a living off that and live here on the profit. Um, so I know that works. I will not sell a business that does not work. Um, it's as simple as that. That's why I'm not as prosperous as I should be. Um, or would that be right? My honesty keeps me from being prosperous. <laughs> if I was less honest, I'd be a much richer man. Um, but the whole point here is don't let things run you down. If you see somebody getting run down, try and give them a lifeline of some description um some people you i know because i don't like mentioning people's names I, I threw them some lifelines when they were in really bad um situations you know got months of rent they haven't paid they're financially got nothing left um and i've managed to kick start them again because if somebody boosts you a little bit it's enough to get you going again um, but if you're not back and then knocked and knocked, you get to a point where you really do struggle to move forward. And this is where you find out who your friends are. Um, and all I can say is be a good friend. Um, if, if somebody's just fallen on bad, bad luck, then try and motivate them somehow. Try and see what you can, can do. Because it's not all about giving them money or giving them your spare room or something. It, it can be as simple as... I need somebody to cut the grass, you know, and give them a day's work. You know, sometimes it's something as simple as that, just to put some money in their pocket. Um, it's just getting something started. 
And the reason I bring this up is probably one of the reasons there's a lot of suicides in the Philippines. And there's probably a lot of suicides worldwide with it. Um, it's not something people really look at. But expat fatigue is very, very common. And I'm not fatigued, by the way. I'm, the reason I haven't had a shave is because I'm trying to keep warm at the moment because flu has been an absolute nightmare to get <laughs> to shift. Um, I'm in good spirits, um, surprisingly good spirits, considering the bad week. Um, but you need to try and like put people in the right direction. They be because from what I've seen, they become very negative about everything. Because one thing they do is deflect. Everything is not their fault. But I look at it the other way. If the engagement has been me, then it must be my fault. If I was conned out or something, it's a little bit different. If somebody was selling me a brand new car and these things failed, then that would be a different thing because at the end of the day, I bought a brand new one because I wouldn't need to maintain it for three years. Um, so that would be a different scenario. But what you find is you need to say, right, these things happen. These things happen. Find a way through it. Don't let it drag you down. Reevaluate, reevaluate, and look at where you've got your opportunities. Um, right now, I'm probably at the crossroads where I need to be pushing things forward very, very quickly. I mean, 2,000 euros wiped out my budget is roughly two months off my um, financial budget for staying in Spain. That, that's the reality of it. So I need to recover that money quickly. Um, so, although the flu's killing me at the moment, I'm not going to sit there and go, well, I can't do nothing, I've got the flu. It's a case of, I've rested for a couple of days, I've got no van, I've got no mobility. Use that best time to actually recover myself, and then, right, now, the van's going to be back today. You need to get things moving. Stop, stop sitting around, you need to do something. Um, so, the first thing this afternoon is new Facebook page for the wholesale business get the website up and running um, start networking to who I think will buy products from me that we know the next thing is looking at people like yourselves who are in Europe I can't do US the shipping's just too crazy uh, cost too much but anybody in Europe I could set you up as a broker for this stuff so you could actually be making this money on your side because if you find people that are buying it, they're shipping directly from me, you don't even need a warehouse, you just need to broker the deals. Easy money, stick 10% on for yourself and Bob's your uncle as they say. Um, you make money for doing very little and a lot of this stuff sells every month so once it starts selling you could be earning double your income and, and I say that very sparsely because you need to be selling this stuff in the first place i'm not one of these people double your money in one month no it's it's more a case of if you sell like two pallets this month and they start doing it every month and then you get another buyer doing exactly the same you could do it but it ain't gonna happen overnight it probably take about 18 months but if you could double your salary and only just be picking up checks for doing it it's not a bad way to make a living all right thanks for watching